Just two days after their historic win at number two Indiana, the Badgers have found themselves a little bit more in the media spotlight recently. Wisconsin has improved to 13 and four overall and four and oh atop the Big Ten standings alone atop the Big Ten standings. They have very little time to rest on their laurels though as they know a difficult road game awaits Saturday at Iowa, a team that beat them twice a year ago. We know Iowa's a, a talented team, a team that's had some success against us in the past. A lot of it was we gave them way too many easy baskets, you know, getting to the rim where we just, you know, got broken down off the dribble, guys didn't help out, we gave them way too much in transition, um, uh, didn't take care of the ball or didn't take good shots, it was a lot of it that led to that, you know, bad shots or turnovers that led to them, you know, leaking out for, yeah, for layups and, and easy buckets in transition, so, you know, we got to do a good job taking care of the ball and protecting the basket and, you know, just playing our game. They, they almost knocked off Indiana down there and, uh, and Michigan State. So, um, although they're one and three in the Big Ten, it doesn't uh, show what kind of team they actually are. That's a very good team. It's a young team, but um, they're also led by some veterans, and you know they have a lot of good players. Um, no matter where, you, no matter what position you look at. So, um, you know, there's a, it's a lot of a lot of matchup problems that hopefully we can we can create, and uh, we just got to take away what they're comfortable at doing, and hopefully uh, do the same thing that we did the past few games, and that's just you know bother teams and you know play good D and hit some shots, and uh, if we do those things, I think we're going to be uh, be all right. Young players like Trayvon Jackson and Sam Decker have had an accelerated learning curve this season, but they seem to be embracing it well. Both have scored in double digits in each of the last two games. We'll tap the brakes, goes again, top of the circle, whips it inside, Decker, low on the right, layup, good. Oh, what a feed from Jackson. I don't know if it was always there. I mean, the first the first stretch, we, we, we weren't playing, you know, like we could. And uh, we, did, we were just feeling each other out, I feel like. We were <laughs> pressing too much as far as, you know, putting pressure on each other and uh, on ourselves individually. And uh, I think it just finally clicked that, you know, when we play hard and we play together, uh, we're going to be a lot better team. And, um, you know, when, when we outwork teams like that, we're going to be tough to beat. And when we hit shots, we're going to be tough to beat. You know, and as the season goes on, we, we just get more of a feel for each other. We're kind of, we're able to do things without communicating to each other, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, just playing off of one another and uh, playing more together, squeezing the court and making guys hit tough shots. And uh, if they do, they do. I mean, you got to live with it, but we're played percentages, and um, as long as we do that, we'll be good. First place Wisconsin has won eight of its last 11 Big Ten road games over the last two seasons. They're going to have to keep that magic going if they want to win Saturday in Iowa City. You can catch the game at 7 p.m. on the Big Ten Network. I'm Patrick Herb for UWBadgers.com.